So guys, I'm in my Steam library and I was trying to play Alice the Madness Returns, but I keep getting an issue. And so after looking around online, I think I can go to manage and I can browse the local files. Uh, that'll open up this window here. I can go into Alice game config and I want to go to default engine right here. I and I right click. Oh, nope. Excuse me. Right click uh, and edit. And then what we're going to do is go into this notepad right here and we're going to go control F to pull this up and exactly that look for frame rate. And we want to look for the maximum smooth frame rate is 31 frames per second. My computer doesn't like that. So we're going to go ahead and change that to 60 and we are going to save it. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and close it. Close this off and click play and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're through the Unreal Engine and there's the icon. We're going to press enter. I mean, as you can see, this is basic standard graphics, so it's not going to be the best, but I mean, I'm getting 54, 58 frames per second. Um, these are looking really good, and I'm just going to go into this to show you some of the graphics in here. You can see that, uh, you know, the, the walls are textured ever so slightly. But I don't have like my textures on or anything like that. So seems like all I can do is go this way. Down this little hall here. Seems following fiery creatures into dark vaults has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. And as I get down here, we see better on the graphics. It goes into this weird negative mode and you can really see how it gets washed out with the fog. But that's how it was on the Xbox too, so it's not much different. I'll have to try it with some different settings and see what I can get. But anyway, that's about all I got for this one. So thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.